been thinking about this a lot recently. Why don't we read anymore? Why is reading not a, a just a normal part of our day to day anymore? Why is it not done for leisure? Why are people not taking the time to teach their kids how to read? Why are, is why is it becoming like socially acceptable for older kids to not know how to read or not read on their grade level? Um, there was a time where for for there was a time for a very very long time of history where books and reading was a form of entertainment and it was frowned upon if you didn't have you know a couple of books on your nightstand or at least on the coffee table um you know even if people who were just reading magazines and things and i i know that society has shifted and we have more things to entertain ourselves and you know things that are more obviously more stimulating to the brain than sitting down with a good book. And then of course you had the, the, the Kindles and the, you know, the digital readers and stuff that were kind of popular for a while, it's still kind of popular with some people, but no one's, it's just not a thing in, anymore. And, um, you, you know, it's, it's, it's scary. When's the last time you read a book that was just, because just for fun, just for self-help, a, a cookbook, it's something that did not pertain to school or work. And why is, why has it become okay that, oh, I don't go to the library. I never hear parents say, oh, I'm taking my kid to the library or we went to the library. And look, libraries, libraries have more than just books for kids, more than books, just books for you. Um, there's other things that can at least get you in the building to maybe inspire you to put, pick up a book. But I'm really thinking about this because the, it's getting worse and worse every year. Um, you know, at least as adults who are of a certain age and, and older, it, you know, at least we grew up with a certain um, uh, relationship with reading to where even if we put it down, we still know the value of it. We still uh, are inclined to pick it up. We, we understand the importance and at least we know how. But now I'm seeing more and more kids, they are just being sent to school, not even having the, the fundamentals of reading. And yeah, it's obviously they go to school to learn how to read. The teachers help them and give them lessons to help perfect that. But that starts at home. And especially today, more than ever, your child should already be, they should already know how to read. Now, on what level? I don't know. But they should already have the fundamentals. If you are a parent of a child, really you should be paying attention to their reading level at, at any age, even all the way up through 12th grade. You should be very aware of your child's reading level. But if you have young kids who have not started school yet or who are about to start school, start reading to them. If you don't know how to teach them, use TikTok. You're here listening to me rant. You can look up on YouTube and TikTok and figure out ways to teach your kids how to learn to read. But really, it's not that complicated. If you just sit and read with them, just read with them every night. One book. It can be the same book. If you can at least instill a love of reading, you're already ahead of the game. Because if they don't have a love of reading, if they already start out behind with the fundamentals or if they fall behind, they're gonna fall behind in every other subject because the basis of learning just about anything, you have to be able to read. Now, sure, there are successful people who don't know how to read, who have dyslexia and they've made great careers for themselves and that people go through their whole lives not knowing how to read. You know, anything is possible, but for all intent and purposes, uh, you got to know how to read. And I, I think that it would be a good idea for us to figure out how to get back to that as a leisurely entertainment uh, option rather than something that is just so overly stimulating. Now, if you say, well, gosh, every time I read, I get sleepy. Well, then read before bed. Even if you're only reading one page a day, it's still reading. 
you have to work up to the habit. You have to build up to that. And, and you can read whatever you want. It doesn't, you don't have to read something that you feel like is, oh, so sophisticated and all I'm doing is, no, you can read total and complete garbage. You know, we had a whole society of, of people, of pop culture that really, really loved reading uh, magazines. Magazine culture was really, really big for a while. Is it something groundbreaking? Uh, groundbreaking? Is it scientific journals? Is it is it you know, uh, you know the great history of the world and all of this? No, but if that's what you're into, read that. But even if you're just picking up something that is just complete comedy, complete trash, if it's whatever, figure out how to get it back into the habit of reading, especially if you have young kids and or just young children around you because these teachers can only do so much and everything is so much more advanced. Now, those of you who have a uh, little pre-K students, kindergartners, first grade, young children, you're like, oh my gosh, school is starting in a couple of weeks and I have not done any of this with no need to worry it's never too late um you know if even if you have middle school kids who you're like wow i never really paid attention to their reading level that's probably why they're struggling in, in these subjects do what you can to meet them on their level figure out what resources are available to you but the most important thing for you to do is just to motivate them to have a love and a desire to read and then for us adults who you're like you know i really should get back into reading i really did enjoy doing that once upon a time i want to get back into it or if it's just something that like oh i graduated and you know what i never picked up another book it's not my thing it just does something different for the brain and if you find a topic of book that you like i guarantee you you will get a different level of enjoyment out of it than that you just don't get out of a video or out of uh, audio. And I know a lot of people do the audio books. That's one thing, but actually holding something physical in your hands and turning the page, it does something here. And I'm, I, I, I worry about these kids and it's becoming acceptable for them to just not even know how to read. And so they're falling behind, behind everything. So also, you have to keep up with the times, you know, maybe more of our teaching has to go towards being more, um, video based, more, more, uh, oral based, more audio, maybe more visual teaching. Since we do live in a tablet, uh, device world where, you know, we're not picking up manuals. We're not reading directions and so we're going to TikTok and seeing in three seconds how to do something so like i said there's more than one way to learn that's not just reading but until that is all figured out the logistics of that uh we need to figure out how to get these kids uh excited about reading and get ourselves excited about reading now two things that i can recommend uh rupaul has a book club or you can find a book club that speaks to you i love drag queens i love drag um but obviously the books uh in this book club go check it out it, it's a bunch of different stuff and it's, it's really cool over there he can explain it better than i can also bob the drag queen like i said i love drag queens i found something that i really like to read that's what i'm leaning towards bob the drag queen is it uh in the process of writing a book right now join the patreon so you can um get first dibs on what he's writing about Harriet Tubman. This, this, this thing is really cool project he's working on. You want to be a part of that, but find something that interests you. I personally like to read. I like to read like ad adventure, um, like mystery fictional, like, uh, like woo magical, like kid stuff. Uh, a lot of times I like to read whimsical, silly kid stuff. It's kind of like cartoons in a book. Like, you know what I mean? I, I like, that but just give it a try go to the library see what they have even if you don't go for the books see what else the libraries in your neighborhood have you will be surprised they most of them usually have kits that you can rent out or just you know take for free that you could take home to your kids that can be an incentive to get them excited about reading get creative start reading leave in the comments section down below some of your favorite books let's share it with each other Let's read each other. You know, we be reading each other for filth, but can you read a book, baby? Anyways, let me know what you think about all that. Okay, bye.